Hey guys, Gus69 from at Open Mind Brazil here today with another contest entry, this time for Tuco over at Wax Ecstatic. A really cool channel, a new one, but is doing very well. He has a peculiar taste in music that I enjoy watching. Uh, a great collection, really big lots of different stuff uh, he is also a musician metalhead used to uh, play in a, in a death metal band he also played uh, um, a tour with Thor which is great so for this contest is very simple uh, he wants us to show an album that um, we wish to listen for the first time again and um, back in the mid 80s when i start collecting and listen to a lot of uh, heavy metal i used to get goosebumps just by hearing uh, particular parts in some songs and i was trying to remember which songs uh, that cause that effect on me and I came up with the conclusion that one of those songs uh, that I really loved and I still love but I will get there um, it's a, a band from New York this song is from their debut album and I'm talking about Metal War. So this is the band and the track that I'm. Uh, it's the title track of this album, Battle Hymns. Or as Eric Adams sings, Bittering, Bittering. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, really cool, epic song. And I remember that. Uh, when the, my friends came to my house to listen music, I always put this song to convince them to like Man War because Eric Adams uh, has uh, such a, a beautiful voice, a melodic and, and very touching in this particular song. Then, and always, I always got the goosebumps listening to this and but this was released in 82 but i only get to listen to these uh, maybe two or three years later when this album uh, was released here in brazil and i i, I bought that on vinyl i don't have any more only this cd but uh, i fell in love with man war and I remember convincing my parents to buy for me uh, Hell to England when they traveled to uh, US um, and uh, I was too young to go with them so I asked them and they uh, brought to me and I also in the same year and I asked a, a friend from my school uh, he uh, on his vacation trip I asked him and he brought to me uh, the sign of the hammer album so I, the only album that I never had by Man War was Into Glory Ride which was uh, the one uh, after this debut but anyway um, I uh, for many years, uh, Man War was on my top five bands, one of my favorite bands of, in that time period, along with um, Anthrax, uh, Metallica and others, but uh, I really uh, find them very unique, the stories like they were inspired by uh, fantasy, uh, mythology and also as you can see here on this image 
I was a huge fan of this uh, character, Conan, and I was always reading those. Uh, this is a new book with old stories, but I used to buy uh, the comics um, on black and white, the original stories. I always love these kind of uh, fantasy stories and Manowar was for me the first band that uh, showed some of that universe in their songs so I loved them for at least 10 years and when I moved to Portugal in the beginning of the 90s I got to see them live for the first time on the Triumph of Steel tour Actually, Triumph of Steel was the last studio album that I bought from them and when I saw them live I was a little disappointed um, with their performance they were too much obsessed with uh, being the louder band in the world uh, trying to be on the Guinness record book uh, things like that and also all those um, death to false metal um, I don't know uh, on the actual concert I didn't like the, the best player when they, uh, he talked to the, the audience um, like being uh, too much self um, selfish <laughs> I think uh, and also tr treating women like I don't know I didn't like their attitude especially uh, from the best player but I like I, I love the music and okay let's uh, pretend that I that didn't occur um, but in the same year or on the year after that I got to see them live again in Portugal two years in a row and I was disappointed again with the concert because it was like an acting everything uh, um, the, the same all, the, all the, the things that I didn't like re happened again and uh, when Joy De Mayo talked to the public, to the audience always with bad attitude um, uh, claiming that they were the kings of the, the better band in the world and things like that and always um, uh, saying that uh, this is the best audience they say that in every single show so I thought it was too much uh, of uh, acting uh, not being real or realistic and after that uh, they actually they, they had some changes in the lineup the guitar player uh, left the band and after a couple years uh, the drummer that I loved Scott Columbus also left and the core of the band was Eric Adams the singer and Joy De Mayo the bass player and um, and back in that time uh, I thought that Joy De Mayo was the boss of the band <laughs> and I didn't like him at all their attitudes uh, I didn't like and and musically they started repeating themselves over and over again um, I start finding them boring uh, repetitive uh, pedant <laughs> also uh, and I started disliking them for many many years I 
didn't fall then anymore but this the the first four albums for me uh, fighting the war was okay kings of metal was a good album uh, but after that they started doing always the same album over and over and al always releasing live albums after live albums trying to grab money all the <laughs> the way that they could and I, uh, I was reading on uh, Wikipedia and it says that they sell like 20 million uh, albums uh, worldwide and I remember uh, watching a, a documentary about them and like they were like poor like the uh, the guitar player on the new ones was living in a cellar and Joy De Mayo was living in the basement of the in, uh, his uh, parent house uh, I, I thought why <laughs> these guys didn't grow up uh, I, I don't know uh, I wasn't able to follow them anymore but this album is still um, if I forgot everything bad that happened uh, and everything that I don't like uh, about them personally uh, this is a classic for me and I wish that I could listen this for the first time again to see if I get goosebumps because this was a great start for this so this is my <laughs> entry to Tukos um, I hope you enjoyed my experience about memoir uh, mixed feelings I did like a lot them but after 10 years they were done for me so that's it my entry Tuko thank you for doing this I love the buttons idea I hope you can make one for my Portuguese channel metal open mind with the logo I will be glad to have that and to wear that on my future videos so thank you and stay tuned to my contest 300 with bad English Rex we are doing this together and you have until May 10th to enter the contest so I hope you can join in and have some fun actually Man War if you like Man War you can use their discography to to answer the five questions all the questions you have only to answer three but you can easily find answers for all the questions the five questions uh, just by using uh, Man War albums so a hint for you if you didn't uh, uh, made a video yet so thank you for watching and see you soon bye bye